what do you believe? Do you believe that they come because you are calling them or they are present there anyway and they just haven't learned how to move on? It's it's a bit of both. It's hard. I don't know the answer to that. But um, I, you asked me earlier on if if um, if I was ever worried of if they attached themselves to me. Now, yeah. um, you know, we, I can feel when they're around. But if, for example, we go to a haunted place where you know a certain lady's been there, you know, for 150 years, um, I find it very hard to believe when I go that she's going to attach herself to me and want to come home with me if she's been there. And well, and you're a strapping, good-looking lad. Stop it! Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Only I say that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, you see, I, I think um, I actually sometimes think there may be perhaps they believe there's unfinished business. Yeah. Um, quite often, I have heard stories. I uh, don't know they're dead. No, that's right. Or they're even, or, or they died in a traumatic way, um, yeah. and and um, uh, they're too scared to go anywhere. Um, I, I had a friend whose sister had a haunted house. When I say haunted house, they had they had poltergeist activity. And they actually filmed it and you can literally see you know and it, it was a dark shadow now when you see dark shadows it generally is a negative energy yeah um you, know, you there's feel also it white orbs. yes you do yeah no, it's incredible mm. so and it was come past and then all of a sudden the the, the manhole so it was up towards the ceiling would then move and open and even come down and it happened over and over so uh, my friend asked me to go and have a look because the, the, the sister had moved out into his house. <laughs> so he goes, please, please. <laughs> I love her, but she needs to go back home. Can you go and have a look? So, <laughs> I love her. But... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so, um, and I went there and, and um, it was there for a couple of hours and I spoke and to whoever it may have been. And it turned out to be uh, uh, someone from uh, um, the 1950s. It was, uh, uh, this is down uh, um, a new development towards Byford is where the house was right and um but they were there in an older house um and then again through the spirit box um um we got indications that um he was he was killed there um he was a um a servant and and he you know he wanted to move on and i said look i can help you and and i did sage the house as well um because they asked me to and it's something that i haven't really done i'm not a big I don't know how Sage moves on spirits. I'm not sure, a, a sure. Kid, but but we did that, and um, and the day after that, it, it never came back, and it was it was done. That, so that does work. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, and and just talking to him, saying, look, you know, have a look for your relatives that you may see them on the other side, and they'll, you know, someone will come and 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 I think one of the last words that he said, we didn't film this by the way, obviously it was sure, um, it was thank you, and that was the last word we heard from this person. Really? Yeah, and he wasn't a nasty person, but I think. Again, we believe that because he was a servant, he was trying to get out of the house. So he's going through the manhole because he, he, he was. Oh, okay. He was locked in where yeah, he was. Yeah. So that was sort of the indication we got. Um, and he was scared of the people from the UK. That was something else he said. So you know, was he perhaps indigenous? I, I, I could, could be speculate. You know, but um, yeah. So that that's uh, you know. So you can move them on. 